Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 31st episode of VisionCon Spotlight, your in-depth look at the nerds you love. I'm your host, Zach Wilson. If you can come here to see me today, you can to meet the people of the hour. Together, they have created a safe haven for tabletop gamers of all shapes and sizes. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the one, the only, Chris and Ellie from Haven Games. Guys, how are we doing today? Uh, great. <laughs> I will say a little bit of a background as to how I discovered you guys. First off, Ellie, I've known you for years. Chris, I've recently had the pleasure of meeting you. But I was in another game store that is farther into town uh, where, and I was looking for cards for Magic the Gathering. For those of you at home who know me, know that I love magic. And I could not for the life of me find them there. So I was venting my frustrations at a uh, fellow tenant of this game store who then (laughs) said, well, have you tried Haven Games in Nixa? And I'm sorry, and I was like, excuse me? A game store in the city I live in that I didn't have to drive 30 to 40 minutes into town to go to? And he's like, yes. So I went to the store and I was starstruck at all the certain things you had. And let me point out that this store has has been known for years as one of the top stores in the city. Didn't find a single card I needed. I went to you guys. I found about 10 cards that I needed. So when I met you guys, I just had to have you on the show. So I wanted to start things out with the name itself. Where did the inspiration and idea come from to start a game store? And where did the name come from? <laughs> um, well, you want to take it first or you want me? I'll go first. Okay. <laughs> so for me, it started, um, for most of us, we don't really know what we're trying to do for the most part of our, you know, our upbringing, our, our right? I went to college wanting to do history. I wanted to do creative writing and all that, but um, I had been playing magic for 20 years. So eventually I had been to so many different stores. So eventually I found myself working at one and while I was working there and, and interacting with the people and seeing how people were um, felt about my customer service and all that it it is it really solidified what i wanted to do with my life magic was something i wanted to do with my life and having my own store was a big part of it and and i've always had this fondness for um community building and driving people and, and and making things kind of exciting for them and so that's 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 where the idea of a store uh started and I've been in this community for, well, you know, about eight years ish, give or take. And um, it was a hobby for me. It was a lot of volunteering, a lot of, you know, just trying to make something out of the community. And I'd been doing it for so long. And Chris approached me and he goes, Hey, you know, do you want 50% of this store? Like, I can't say no to that. <laughs> like, it's an opportunity for me to put you know, all of my ideas into something, for something to be my own. Like he said, we have a lot of, you know, ambitions, like eventually way, way down the line, we'd like to do, you know, a scholarship program. Like we've been doing charity tournaments. Like it's an opportunity to give back to this community that I've been a part of. So it's just, it, it's a dream that I never thought, like I never dreamed. What <laughs> school for landscaping? And I was like, yeah, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. And now I'm here, so. And you guys, yeah, it's it's suffice to say that it is a dream for both of us, for sure. (laughs) And it shows you guys are knocking out of the park with both your compassion for the work, but also the stuff you sell. You guys have such a wide variety. It's not just magic or Pokemon cards. It's so much more. And so, on that note, do you guys want to kind of touch on what are some of the products people can be able to expect when they go that they could purchase? Yeah, uh, when you get here, you are the first thing you see left and right are board games. Um, granted, our selection currently is not as big as we want it to be, but it's been two months, right? And it's all even if it's been two months, it's already grown so much since we started. And I've we've had reviews recently where somebody came in a second time, they're like, Whoa, this, this is a place that every time I come in, they have new stuff, there's more board games. And so other than board games, we got Flesh and Blood, we got Yu-Gi-Oh, we have Magic, we have um, Pokemon. Pokemon. Pretty much any TCG that we can get our hands on, we have. 
a lot of them we're still trying because you know production issues right now with everything yeah. going on <laughs> but we're at least trying to get it in and we have you know all the accessories to go on with that um, in the future we are looking to expand maybe into miniatures um, we're trying to expand our role-playing section right now mm -hmm. Um, but basically, if somebody walks in that door and asks for it, I will find a way to carry it because that's, you know, just part of it. And was that kind of a big goal of your guys's with Haven Games to try to accommodate as many different genres as possible? Because, you know, everyone watching that is part of the nerd community. I mean, VisionCon's been around for over 30 years and we try to accommodate to as many genres of nerd and all the fandoms as possible and even we can sometimes barely scratch the surface sometimes so was it a goal of your guys is to try to be as welcoming and as accommodating to all the different fandoms as possible absolutely we've had people randomly come in and be like hey can we do hero clicks on a friday it's like we don't carry it right now but we can get it uh, we can get it i said yes and by the next day we were almost officialized as a tournament organizer we're still working on it um, somebody came in for Battletech and they're supposed to come in Wednesdays and they, they got excited that we were like, yes, let's do it. If you want to do it here, we'll do it. I'll learn if I have to. And they agreed to teach me. So I'm waiting for them to show up so I can, I can learn. <laughs> it's a huge priority of ours because I mean, this community is so big and everybody belongs to a different part of it. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to be a place for everybody, which is hard to do, probably impossible to do. But yeah. we're gonna stop. Like, I mean, like I said, if somebody walks in that door and asks for something, like we're gonna do our best to figure out how to encompass that. Like we sit down every week, we try to think of, you know, new events, like, okay, what can we do to get this crowd in? Like, what can we do? Like we're having a murder mystery night for horror fans and like anything, we're gonna try to start a local art gallery so just anything we can do to try to get a new group in that door we are going to try to do at some point absolutely and i'll use this as a platform to advertise that like we're looking for artists up and coming artists that wanna they want to show off their work any of their gig imagery from whatever it is from magic to gather, gathering to star wars anything like that and we will love to fill the walls with them and sell them for you and you can keep your commission We'll talk about it like we we want we're wanting to just whatever it takes to build the community in some way from charity events to um, just giving local people a chance. Um, we have quite a few local artists with products in the store already. So if there's like literally anything, we've got a girl who brings in candles. We've got a guy who does leather work. Mm -hmm. If I can sell it, we will do our best. And even to Jill, too. The Leatherworks guy, Grimbeard Leather, shout out to them. They're <laughs> awesome. So check out their work. Check out their leather work. You heard it here first, guys. Haven Games officially <laughs> supports local artists. <laughs> well, back to cultivating a community. You guys have themed nights for you know the, the very popular genres, magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon. What days? are certain events kind of put or what themed nights can people expect to enjoy? So we've been playing around with a schedule and we do that all the time because we try to keep on an ear to the ground to see what the community is looking for and trying to do. But so we do magic, we do mo modern on Mondays. We do pioneer for magic as well on Tuesdays. Then we have commander on Thursday and Saturdays and then Friday night magic is standard now. Uh, we do Yu-Gi-Oh events on Wednesdays and Fridays, and we are trying to push Hero Clicks on Fridays as, as well. Um, there's also Flesh and Blood that we're also trying to uh, grow, uh, which is we do on Thursdays. It was Wednesdays and Fridays. No, Thursdays. Wednesdays and Thursdays. Um, and we want to do board game nights on Saturday evenings from 5 to 2 will close. And am I forgetting anything? Uh, that's pretty much all of our weekly events for now. Um, we're hoping to add Pokemon soon. Um, yes. Play is still <laughs> shut down for that. But we are an official Pokemon store. So as soon as that opens up, we'll be able to um, add that to the roster. Um, we've got D&D &D workshops oh. once a month. 
Um, and then we're going to start doing the theme board game nights once a month as well. And then we've got smash tournaments once a month. Smash tournaments. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, a lot of things. <laughs> And so speaking of things that are up and coming, are there any upcoming events that you guys have going on in the next few weeks or even months? And whether or not can people find you on social media? So you can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Instagram. Um, our website is haven-games.com and it links to all of our social media. We've got a blog on there that's got stuff written by him that you might want to check out. Uh, <laughs> But every, everything's on there. You should be able to find us pretty easily. Um, if not, stop at the store. We'll find us. So some things coming up soon. We've got a Smash Brothers tournament on the 19th of September. It's going to be our first open tournament. So that should be a lot of fun. Um, this, let's see, the second Friday of every month, I'm starting homeschool Fridays. So that's the thing I want to push. Um, it's free. Homeschool kids can come in, and I'm going to have demo games set up, and they are educational. We have a first and more free on the 18th as well, uh, September. Uh, there's a myriad of events uh, uh, coming in October as well. Uh, and um, uh, also, I wanted to mention that um, whatever events that you, the viewer, are wanting to do, if you want to show up randomly with eight people to play Magic or to play Flesh and Blood or to play Yu-Gi-Oh or Digimon or what have you, we'll do a small event and we'll give out store credit. Um, and usually for small events, we charge five bucks and most of it just goes back right that right back to every player plays. And another thing that we do every month is our Magic Showdown. It's um, it switches between Modern and Legacy, and we do have custom play mats that we make for first place oh wow so those are super cool and um the one in october will be legacy and it'll be on the 17th of october and it is cash pricing as well so it's pretty big our last one we had you know 20 something people show up wow. so and that was our first one, so I think these next few are going to be huge. It's going to be a lot of fun. So That's incredible, guys. Well, with <laughs> that said, I've got all of those links plus more down there in the description box below for you guys to check out. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, this has been episode 31 of Vision Con Spotlight. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Zach Wilson. But much more importantly, these have been my two very special guests, Chris and Ellie from Haven Games. Make sure to check out all the links down in the description box below. And until next time, guys. Bye. <laughs> the life's better when you have friends yeah. to share it with. <laughs>